All right, guys, we are back here out on the range with honestly is one of my uh, favorite setups. I really am digging this Mark 12, the Sabre 12 like retro clone build. Um, but a lot of the comments from our previous video talked about, hey, go back out with better ammo. So I skipped all the other nonsense and I went straight to the good stuff. We're running the Norma match grade. So this is 77 green Sierra Match King bullets. This is actually what I use when I shoot gas gun matches. And uh, I just shot a previous video on some budget scopes and the grouping that I got out of that 16 inch gun was pretty dang awesome. It was a quarter inch grouping at 100 yards. So let's try it out in this Sabre Mark 12 and uh, see where we're at. Haven't shot it yet out of this gun, so hopefully we're on paper from our previous video. Gil, you ready? Let's up. You guys should be seeing this. They're tiny holes, so hopefully you can, you know, kind of see it through the spotting scope. It's magnified at 60. Um, I am using the uh, primary arms, two and a half to 10. Um, I believe this is the GLX model. Yes, it is. With the primary arms, ACSS Griffin mill reticle. Um, one of my, again, the same optic I use in gas gun matches. But, all right, enough talking. Let's do it. You ready, Gil? Let's fire up. Three rounds, let's go down and check. Again, Sabre Mark 12, got the uh, 16 inch, I believe. Might be the 18 inch, I can't remember off the top of my head. But I am running the Otter Creek, La uh, Otter Creek Labs OCM5 on there to give it the you know, full clone aesthetic. And then we got it wrapped up in some tan netting to cover up all the black. But yeah, let's go take a look. All right guys, definitely liking these results down here at 100. Uh, Gil saying these were the two first shots, so that right there is less than a half inch, and then this was my last shot. Didn't that one? I didn't. I could feel I was swaying a little bit when I broke the shot. Um, I mean, we need tiny, tiny adjustments. We're talking half an inch right, half an inch, not even half an inch up. So 0.25 needs to come up, and then 0.5 left. Um, I have to look up. I can't remember exactly what it is in for. Actually, no, I do know. It's one tenth mil. So I'll make my adjustments off of um, 0.36 inches, and uh, we'll get it dialed in. And I want to see how good of a grouping we can get here. All right, guys. So on this primary arms GLX uh, two and a half to ten, it is in mil. I prefer mil because it makes it easy. Because one click is 0.1 mil, so 10 clicks is one full mil. One full mil at 100 yards is 3.36 inches. So what that means is that every 10 clicks I do at this distance will move my reticle or my point of impact 3.36 inches. So I'm about half an inch low, half an inch right. So if you divide 0.5 by 0.336, you get one and a half. I can't do one and a half clicks, so I'm just going to come up one and I'm going to go left one and then see how close that gets me to center. You ready, Gil? Fire up. Take a look. All right, guys, this baffles me a little bit. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm definitely liking when the rounds are doing this now, but it is literally almost the reverse of what we just did. And that's just moving it up one click, left one click. So um, let's try unsuppressed and see if maybe having that suppressor in there is changing the uh, trajectory of the bullet. But I mean, Yeah, somebody in the comments makes sense of it for me. All right, guys, got my uh, suppressor off there. Not going to mess with the adjustments at all. Shoot another three round group and see where we're at. You ready, Gil? Spot up.
I'm gonna shoot one more. Alright, let's go take a look. Alright guys, I, I think the Sabre Mark 12 is just playing with me now. Again, check this out. We'll go uh, circles now. We have two here, one here. So it's been two with one far, two with one far, two with one far, and then I, I shot an extra round. Not sure if this was my last round or maybe before that, but I mean, this right here is about a 1.25 MOA. Um, I still wanna shoot for the best group I can get. I'll try one of these other diamonds out. Cause I think the gun, I was talking to PSA and they said it should be about a 1.25 MOA gun. So I definitely, I think that's capable. I mean, right here, that's like 1.75. So maybe I'll take a little more time on this and uh, get one more grouping for you guys with the 77 grain sear matching. Um, and then I do have a budget gun set up that I did build and we got, you saw it Gil, we got like under a quarter inch grouping with that thing. So, but uh, yeah, let's go shoot one more. All right, guys, for this last grouping, I just remembered that I also brought some of the uh, Ultimate Ammunition uh, 223 Remington Sniper. This is their uh, 77 grain um, bullet that they were making. You can't get these anymore, but they're using the uh, Burger 77 grain OTM tactical round. And this is giving muzzle velocity at 16 inch barrels 2820. So uh, I loaded five rounds of that in here. So I got the first five rounds are going to be this Ultimate Ammunition 77 grain and the second set of five rounds, last five in this 10 round mag are going to be the uh, Norma Match Grade 77 Sierra Match Grade. I'll shoot on the right diamond for the first grouping, on the left diamond for the second. Ready, Gil? Let's fire up. All right, first up is going to be the Ultimate Ammunition. You see any of that, Gil? Yeah, so you looks like you hit one dead center and a, one a little above and one lower. Okay, we're gonna go left diamond now. This is with the um, 77 green Sierra Match King. Ready? Spot her up. Let's go take a look. Hi guys, down here at the target. And looking at it, it looks like the uh, 77 grain Ultimate Ammunition. I'd say that's a better grouping. What's well, closer to where I was aiming, I guess. Um, I mean, it would have been nice if these were, if that was my three shot group on the Sierra Match King, we were talking half MOA right there. But, oh, you know what, we'll say this. Let's see, that's, uh, that's the furthest, so. Yeah, that's about a one and a half inch because this is three quarters to three quarters. So right here, we got a 1.5 MOA. And I'm happy with that. Um, so no, this actually did better because look, here to here is gonna be two and a half inches. So I correct myself because that looks like two point five MOA. So picking up the 77 grain Norma um, match grade bullet with the Sierra Match King, uh, sorry, Norma round with the Sierra Match King bullet, we were able to get 1.5 MOA. Um, I'm still happy with the gun guys. Like I just like the overall build and aesthetic. One idea that kind of popped into my head is maybe I'll reach out to Jay over at Aegis Weapons, who's kind of doing the 12.5 um, uppers that we've been building and collabing with him on. Like I got quarter MOA or sorry, quarter inch grouping at 50 yards um, with just a red dot with his 12.5 carry handle upper he made me. So maybe I'll have him put one of his barrels in this setup and have him do his magic 
and see if we can get a much tighter group. But we're gonna have a little bit of fun at the end of this video, shooting some steel, let Gil shoot a couple rounds off too. And uh, I mean, the fact that we're still hitting, you know, come over here to this guy, Gil. Here's the big Sharpie. This is about six inches. This is about eight inches wide. And we hit this thing all day long with it. So I think the gun, I wanna say that gun is somewhere between 12 and 1500 bucks completely done from PSA. So for the money, I'm happy with that grouping for the clone that they did, having the whole tubular hand guard and the PRI monolithic rail and everything like that, I think it's pretty awesome. So, uh, but I did wanna get back out here for you guys out there that were telling me, hey, try a better bullet. We did it, these are the results we got. Let me know down below what you think. Um, again, the whole setup is the Sabre Mark 12 with the primary arms, GLX two and a half to 10 and the OCM five from Otter Creek Labs. Um, thank you guys for checking out the video. Again, look forward to hearing your feedback down below in the comment section. You guys in the last video that had all that constructive feedback about the ammunition and just like everything in regards to like bipods and mats and all that stuff. Thank you. All of that stuff definitely helps us out and we appreciate that. We do read that stuff. So thank you for taking the time to leave those comments. Appreciate you guys. As always, we'll see you in the next one. All right, Gil, let's finish it out strong, man. Little, uh, little uh, three, inch three inch spray paint can. Spray paint can. 100 yards 100 out. Yards out. Saber Mark 12. Saber Mark 12. <laughs> it's so much it's so more much uneventful more when the can is empty. I know. I was like, wait, did I even hit that? All right, let me switch, All right, let me to, switch the, uh, to the other, uh, camera, other camera here, and we'll go here, to, we'll uh, go to uh, the mini uh, A zone 8 inch deal. On you. Nice.